my best wishes to all the viewers welcome to dt studio dt studio is organized by the director of technical education in karnataka bengaluru now i am discussing a course called project management and valuation it is prescribed by the board of technical examinations bengaluru now so far in this course i have discussed this is the eighth class i have discussed in the period till now there are so many introduction classes with respect to the uh, our project management what is project management now who can be the part of the project management and what are the consultant resources and who is who, who is going to start the project and who is going to prepare the project report and the initial report then final report then execution then tendering that is pre tender process and post tender process like you know we have discussed so many issues related to project management now today i am highlighting about the types of contract now depending upon the circumstances the depending upon the size of the project depending upon the administration now depending upon the volume of the money involved depending upon the the administration and the uh, your stakeholders that is stakeholders means consumers or users is it not are the owners now here please understand there are two things here one is the in the construction resource that is construction resource that is the construction team a construction <coughs> team consisting of owner the contractor and the consultant or the engineer are called an expert remember a construction team consisting of if the owner and the contractor and owner you, contractor and engineer. You, please remember this now all these three put together we can get we can have a project the project may be anything project may be anything that is construction of a building maybe a small building or maybe a bigger building like you know high rise buildings that is multi story complexes or industrial building construction of roads construction of bridges then the building of the railway line building of flyovers building of dams now these are different projects is not come across with the engineers and also remember that today i am discussing with civil engineers those who know how to prepare the building bridge drawings how to conduct the survey how to collect the data from the ground and how to prepare the how to prepare the drawings and how to prepare the designs and how to prepare the estimations now like you know now i am i am talking i am discussing to the civil engineers the civil engineering projects these are the that is infrastructure projects now we are, we are providing the facility to the general public now therefore please remember the a team consisting of team consisting of the owner and the contractor and the engineer is it not engineer is a mediator is it not or a consultant he will be called professionally he will be called as a consultant he will manage the owner and also the contractor is it not the risk factor and the responsibility are too high on civil engineers now because now we are creating the we are creating the facility to the society we are creating the facility to the general public is it not we are creating the facility to the government is it not now please remember therefore here the owner now constructing a small building is a very small process that we can have it according to my wish see suppose if i am building a home for me or uh, i am very it is very simple task that i whatever i want i can decide i can execute it now whereas when you constructing a building for the government then there are your let us follow we shall, we shall follow the so many procedures is not therefore now in this subject particularly let us understand who will be the owner 
and who will be the contractor and who will be the engineer project manager or the project consultant does it not now that is most important here please understand the difference between these two the owner the owner means an individual i am the owner if i am building a home for me i am the owner i am paying the money is it not if a man, city corporation a man, city corporation corporation or municipality office is building a drainage work no the city corporation are the local people in are the owners is it not suppose if you are building a dam to a uh, to supply the water for irrigation purpose industrial purpose drinking purpose like you know if you are creating then the government is the owner if you are creating the road the road again government is the owner is it not if you are creating if you are providing a facility railway facility no it is the owner is the government please understand this difference is it not owner means if you are building a home for you if you are building a small or small is the compound wall for your for for plot then you are the owner you are financing you are paying the money is it suppose if you are building the public infrastructure then the government is the owner please remember this when you are handling the government government money then let us be very careful this is not the most important task and more responsible task no we are we are not supposed to spend more money and we are not to, not supposed to compromise the quality of the road is it not no we, we must follow everything therefore the roles and responsibilities of engineers is too high is it not this factor is also too big now therefore let us have a thorough knowledge in this subject is it not no you know definitely it is possible you can create the drawing you can prepare the estimation now it is the, you can you can get the material and if you go and see the other structure then accordingly we can prepare the build, we can prepare the drawings we can prepare the estimation there are so many material is available to prepare the drawing to prepare the estimation to prepare conduct the other designs like you know but the management is one of the biggest task for engineers isn't it therefore let us be very careful now already i told you number of times in the previous classes if, if you want to become a civil engineer if you want to become a good civil engineer if you want to become a good project manager the first you have to compromise the personal desires number one you must compromise the personal desires and number two you must always love your project and also you must love the people involved in your project then automatically you will become one of the best is not project manager and the other, other things we can learn from by experience and not possible to become a project manager in a day or two it is, it needs so much lot of experience is it not now again i'll come back that is a construction team consisting of that is owner and the engineer and the contractor is it not now if you want to construct a bridge or a dam now now already we have discussed what are the procedures to be followed there is when you prepare the estimate when you prepare the project report we need to get the administrative approval and also the technical approval technical approval means a group of experts or a senior engineer he will agree the project prepared by the project engineer is it not and the administrative approval means the people those who pay the money for your project that it is administrative approval is it not when both the things are done then our project is through is it not it is ready for construction it means then who is who is going to build who is the responsible person to build our project that is now we have to decide that for to decide that now there is a tendering process now we are put that project into bid is it not we will keep that open is it not yaar bekadru bandu aa building ana construction madabodu yaar bekadru bandu aa road ana nirmana madabodu yaar bekadru bandu aa nimma dam ana construction madikodabodu is it not build madikodabodu but avari gondu qualification beko is it not matte so procedure la ide adanella now in the class alli thumba idra bage discuss madidivi now the contracts is it not today i am emphasizing or are discussing more about the contracts types of contracts ishtu tarad contract namalli availability ide nene nu labha ide yav method annu apply martare modlu yavudu method iddu iga yav method ide annadru bage nanu ivattu i have emphasized i will discuss about it okay now therefore from 
the first part please remember this now last in the last class i have explained little bit about it now i will elaborate a little more now these are the various types of contracts we can execute the work that is number one peace work system peace work system now peace work system means that is a small job like you know repair or maintenance small chota that is that is small jobs that can be executed through this the concerned engineer department engineer now you please remember here now we are now we are the project managers are the section officers for a particular project that is the government project let us assume that whether you are constructing a culvert or you are constructing a small bridge or you are constructing a supply water supply scheme now you are the project engineer is it not you are project engineer the project in engineer for the government is it not a government project it is now who are eligible to participate in that to build or to create that facility the eligibility now how and how you can award that work the award you can award in the on the basis of for small works like you know 2000 5000 like you know but you know in any office the concerned officer the highest officer take for example now we have the polytechnic here in this polytechnic the highest officer level is the principal is it not the principal and and below we have head of the departments and below we have lecturers like you know the highest officer now in any department in any office wherever you go the highest officer of the department or the office now they have some limitations and limitation to spend government money therefore let us be very careful while handling this for small works like petty works we are called petty works children children sansarthu kelsangal nirvahane mandike now we can hear sara ai sara mood sara igala kalsa mandike avakasha ide the government will specify say in in the topic you can spend so much money. that is delegation of powers we have is it not now i will discuss about it the delegation of powers of the engineers in the next you know we have a small chapter duties and responsibilities of engineers there we will discuss about it is it not now every office has got some certain no responsibility now beyond that we cannot do it then you have to follow the other procedure now therefore now this is a piece work chota small work is it not for constructing of a 2 meter compound wall uh, or repairing a uh, compound wall or painting something is it not or leakages is like you know small maintenance job that we can execute it now piece wise is it not and similarly item rate now this is for projects like you know construction of buildings construction of bridges like you know we can execute this is it that is item rate now whenever you prepare the project the project consisting of an estimation am i right are you preparing the project when you prepare the project the estimation will be there when the estimation will be there there are many items many item means earth work excavation earth work excavation may be in hard soil earth work excavation may be in soft soil earth work excavation may be in medium hard rock medium like no and cc bed and footing that is like you know there are so many items you will work out quantity you will get it is it not for each quantity there will be a scheduled rate rate scheduled by the department public works department is scheduling the we have a schedule of rates yes sir normally we will call it as yes sir schedule of rates now every year the department the concerned department authorized department will revise the rates according to the market price according to the labor of in the available in the market now when the schedule of rates is prepared based on the material available is it not locally available at the site and the people are avail available that is when available all around the site and also the machine available around the site and also the material available whether it is transporting from the queue from far away places or locally you now the rate will be the rate the rate will be calculated is it not schedule of rates the department will announce is it not depending upon the region for mangalore we have different sr and you know for madikeri we have a different sr now because no in their hilly stations therefore it is not a plain area therefore it is different from bengaluru it is different from mangaluru mysore 
therefore we have a small variation in the rates schedule of rates it is called as it is it is available in a in the a book forum and also it is available in the pdf forum you can go through that you just find out schedule of rates we are calling this as every engineer in the department in the government must follow that is it not accordingly they must calculate the quantity of the work and the cost of the that is the project will be calculated now therefore when you have the quantity of the material now for each quantity there will be a specific rate is it not now that the work contract will be awarded according to the rate is according to the rate the another system is that is lump sum tender system lump sum lump sum means for example if you are constructing a 1000 square meter building the 1000 square meter building is cost in about 2000 rupees to 20000 rupees per square meter is it not 20000 square meter but you are but you have to estimate according to your sr rates you have to calculate prepare the drawing quant quanti uh, quantify the quantity of the material the material or the items or the elements calculate the the quantity so which are being used in the construction then estimation then based on that estimation the let it let us assume that it comes around 20000 rupees per square meter and for 1000 square meter how much money is required is it not that you can calculate and straight away you can bid it now now in one sahar square meter one building construction maartta iddeve adrdu estimation cost anna now eradu 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 sa one eradu sa 20000 rupees kunichu one sahar square meter estu hana baruthe adu ishtu hana aagutadu adike idanna yaradru interest iddoru idakke lump sum contract kodta idivi participate maadabodu you can you can announce in the paper the people the contractors will get in they will bid to buy that contract nan maadi kodtane building na nan ge aagutade keluru sobha jaasti kelabodu lump sum in the lump sum contract now please understand now it is no there is no measurement nothing no measurement the only that is supervision only supervision is it not that is according to your drawing you must execute the building no super the no, only supervision because you are not measuring you are not preparing the bills no accordingly no 20000 20000 rupees per square meter multiplied by 1000 square meter building no what is the total cost depending upon the progress you can release some money also depending upon the progress if they have done the job we can release some money is it not no therefore lump sum means no for example but no for one building or for a small bridge you know this is the quantity normally nobody will do that is it not no because it is there is there are certain disadvantages in that no disadvantages what are the disadvantages we have no normally if you give the lump sum contract no sometimes no depending upon the soil condition based on the soil condition no soil condition no foundation may change then that fellow will stop the job and he will ask foundation new kottadage illa new drawing madidage illa illi jaasti foundation madbeku structure sariyagi niludilla iga na avu en madbeku then conflict number 1 conflict suppose if you are building a home and you are giving that 1100 square meter building for 2000 now it comes to 20 lakhs rupees work is it not now you awarded the contract to one of one of the contractors then no very big task risky factor this is a risky task risky method of giving this lump sum method lump sum method is not advisable to follow that is it not one no no in companies like you know companies are some people staying uh, far away they stay far away from the project what they do they will enter the work in the lump sum now you will pay so much money you please execute it complete it within the specified time now whereas if you build a home no definitely if you if you have, if, if you enter the work lump sum contract contract now what is going to happen you know if you are going to if you are building a home there are 100 people under your relatives will get into the home and keep changing their designs is not when you keep changing the design the contractor will become online is not only you suppose sit work out today yakandre new lump sum contract what is any over here 20 lakh rupees kodtane ee ondu saara square feet mane kati kodi nanage when you start this no definitely 
ಇವರು ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಫ್ಲೋರಿಂಗ್ ಹೋಗ್ತೀರಿ ನೀವು ಫ್ಲೋರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ತರಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಫ್ಲೋರಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಮೊದಲೇ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ನೀವು ಇಂಥದ್ದು ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ರು ಯಾರೋ ಬಂದು ಹೇಳ್ತದೆ ಇದು ಬೇಡ ಅದು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ಹಾಕಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತದೆ ಅದು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಇದೆ ಆಗ ಇವರು ನನಗೆ ಅದು ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಕೊಡಿ ಅಂತ ಆ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಗ್ರೀಂಗ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ದಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಇದನ್ನ ದೆನ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದೆನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಕೀಪ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮನಿ ಅಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಓನರ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆಪನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಪನಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ದ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಕಾನ್ಫ್ಲಿಕ್ಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಡ್ವೈಸಬಲ್ ನೌ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಗಿವ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಒನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟೆನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಗಿವ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ನೌ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ನೌ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ ದಟ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಂಡಿಚರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ವೀಕ್ ಆರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ಮಂತ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೌ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ದ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಸ್ಪೆಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೆನ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೆಷಿನ್ ನೌ ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ದ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೀಪ್ ದ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ನೋಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ದ ಸೂಪರ್ವೈಸರ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಶುಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ದ ನೋಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಐಟಮ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಐದರ್ ಬೈ ವೀಕ್ಲಿ ಆರ್ ಬೈ ಮಂತ್ಲಿ ಆರ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ಯು ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಓನರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನೋ ಆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಟೆನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಟೆನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ನೋ ಹೌ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅನ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಕಮೆನ್ಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಎವಾಲ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನೋ ಕಾನ್ಫ್ಲಿಕ್ಟ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಓನರ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಮೇ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ನೋ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಮಿಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಲೂಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮನಿ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೂಪರ್ವೈಸ್ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ದ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಲಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ದ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ that is main cost that is labor masons carpenters who are maybe for a, that period who are works you record their salaries is it not salaries and then total it in a weekly or sometimes monthly like you know or according to your wishes that the agreement between the owner and the contractor now prepare the bill expenditure plus add the percentage is it not suppose 2 lakh rupees you have spent on material men etc then add 10%, 15%, 20% that is agreed between the owner and the contractor. Isn't it? That? that is one best method you know, we can apply for individual, for individual or small projects. Isn't it? Now in the government, no, we are not using that. We don't go, we don't go for that
ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಏನು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹತ್ರ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಕಾಂಕ್ರೀಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಎಷ್ಟಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಟೀಲ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಎಷ್ಟಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನೀವು ಎಸ್ಟಿಮೇಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವರ್ಕ್ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೀರಿ ಅದು ಟೆಂಡರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇಂಥ ಇಷ್ಟು ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಇದೆ ಇಂಥ ಬ್ರಿಡ್ಜ್ ಕಟ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಬ್ರಿಡ್ಜ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಐದೂವರೆ ಕೋಟಿ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅದು ಡ್ರಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಹೀಗೆ ಉಂಟು ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಹೀಗೆ ಇದೆ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಐ ಟಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ತಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಅಂತ ಯುವರ್ಸ್ ಇ ಟೆಂಡರಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಆ ಟೆಂಡರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಟೆಂಡರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ದ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿಡ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೆಂಡರ್ ಫಾರಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಫಿಲ್ ಹಿಸ್ ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಟೆಂಡರ್ ಫಾರಮ್ ಟೆಂಡರ್ ಫಾರಮ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಯಾರು ಅದನ್ನು ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ತಯಾರು ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅವ್ರ ಹತ್ರ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಅವ್ರು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಪೇಪರ್ ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಕೂಡಲೇ ಎಲಿಜಿಬಲ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಮ್ ಮನಿ ಬೈ ಪೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಮನಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಇದ್ ಟೆಂಡರ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳುದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೆಂಡರ್ ಇದ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಟೆಂಡರ್ ಫಾರಮ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟೀಸ್ ಬಟ್ ನೋ ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಇದ್ ನೋ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಯೂ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದಟ್ ನೋ ದಿಸ್ is estimation is prepared based on the current esr schedule of rates sarkara karnataka sarkara athu innond sarkara yavudu sar yav yav aa project na tayar martare concept martare aa project na yaru sponsor martare yaru hana kodtare avaru ondu schedule of rates ante irutade idu nan aa read for estimation will be done according to that rate ige neevu ee varsha estimate madidre current estimate ಶೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇಟ್ಸ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಈ ವರ್ಷ ಲೈಕ್ ಯುನೋ ಅದು ರೇಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಖಾಲಿ ಇರ್ತದೆ ದ ರೇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕೋಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ಫಾರಂ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಪುಟ್ ದೇರ್ ರೇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೇಟ್ ಗಿಂತ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೇಟ್ ಗಿಂತ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದೇರ್ ಪವರ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಈಗ ಕೆಲವು ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ their own setup they have their own machine they are they have their own quarry is it not like you know they are very strong in building the projects what they do they may quote less is it not some people will quote more no it is his wish the contractor wish is it not sometimes no after after doing this after entering their you no know, quotations no the bid will be open on a particular some day which is mentioned according to the tender notice now well, when they open sometimes what happens what happens you know the contractor may not be right the engineer or the consultant the contractor may not be happy with the uh, the executive executive engineer of the department may not happy with the contract particular contract the lowest person he may quote 10% less than the project cost the contract the engineer may not be happy with the happy with the contractor because of his previous career when they don't have been based on the previous career they may not be able to accept the he is a contractor then he can reject it with the proper reason he can reject it is it not then another person may be right person he may might have quoted that is 5% more than the actual cost of the project then the executive engineer they cannot reject the, they may there may be there is the, sometimes what happens you know if it becomes more complicated the people will go to the court of law then our project get delayed now therefore it is called now the we will call the person the person who quoted more than 10% or more than more uh, more than the estimated cost now that person will be called to the office and he will be discussed the rejected person has quoted 10% less is it not therefore what they will do they will ask the person who has quoted more for the sr rates is it not it is called a negotiation the discussion had between the contractor and the consultant or the engineer you now this is called negotiation negotiation between the construction team that is engineer and the contractor now you will ask him they will will ask will sometimes he may come down to less also it is not now depending upon the capacity now this is negotiation negotiation now we can add or can allot the work we can go we can entrust the work to the person it is not now this is 
The another one method, sometimes it will be asked in the examination for five months, different types of contracts, 10 months, maybe different types of contracts and explain the merits and demerits. Isn't that? Now, these are the, now this is one best method. This is also another best method, regular, normally applied method. These are the not, not applied method. Now, this method is not applied to you know, in many cases. Now, here, now, this is one, the method, regular practice we have. And also, this is this is also in the it is a part of uh, awarding the contract and the departmental execution of the work. Departmental execution. Sometimes what happens, you know, the department, the engineer, executive engineer will execute the work, isn't it? On his own, he will supply the material. He will buy the material from the market. They will supply the material, and they will employ the people. They will maintain the records, and they will release the payment. No, it is we can't do it for the larger projects. No, we can, this can be done only for small, small projects. This is not small thing means no repairs, maintenance, like you know, departmentally we can execute it. This is the concerned engineer, concerned department engineer can execute this. He can do it. This is not. Now let us see. Now these are whatever the whatever I have discussed now. No, it is elaborately explained in the that is seen in the slide. No. Uh, you know, till now, the different types of contract, the types of contract that you know what I have explained, so it is uh, it is available in the slide. Still, legality of contractors that is construction, maintenance, repair, lot. Already I told you know, you know there are different methods applied you now for accepting tender or uh, ending over the job. Like you know, we can decide it. Now, peaceful. Now, responsibility of the department take, department take takes up the responsibility for the supply of estimated quantity of material, like you know that is department can execute the job department. Now, small small work. Now, see, I have I mentioned here I left a blank here because it keeps changing depending upon the that is the because the government will change the rule. Now, it will it will grant more power to the officials. Now, therefore, I kept. Uh, Open this you now for small works like 1000, 2000, 3000. Now, at present, we have powers of, to spend up to 5000 rupees. Therefore, 5000 rupees work can be executed. Isn't that? Now, this is one piece work, and you know, piece work advantages quick in, quickness in execution, overall responsibility of the to the department. Then, small contractor or limited means, sanction, sanction, isn't that? Then, that is, it is possible. You can decide, isn't that, for emergency work. And you know, then item rate, item rate, that is unit rates agreed to, agreed, uh, agreed at the time of tender. Our time will be time will be tender now, call me, rate is there, item rate, isn't that, quoted rate, quoted by the contractor, isn't that, no, I, I have discussed about this, I have, we have, see, now, elaborately, I have discussed about this. So, you please kindly refer this. Then, lump sum contract. It is another method. Already, I, we, are, we have discussed about it. Lump sum method. Uh, not much used. Isn't it? Not? not much used. No, you do. I advocate not to go to, don't go for this. Being a project engineer, being a civil engineer, I advocate you not to not go, go for this because it creates more complications, compl complexes, problems. Isn't it? There will be a difference of opinion in the work, in the quality, and also in making payments, money payments. Now there will be a difference of opinion. Now, not always, in the majority of the cases in the lump sum contract, this happens. Isn't it? Majority. 90%, 90-95%. Now there will be conflict with the now in this system. Therefore, don't follow this. So it is my advice, personal advice. Okay, then cost per percentage. Now collect the material, count it, then collect, get the people and get the work done. Now that is another method. Plus add, that is add the that is percentage. Isn't it? The disadvantage lies in the fact that quality of the work may be poor and checking the actual cost incurred is difficult. Now I told you, you know that is very difficult to collect the information, your day-to-day, -day, how much material we have received, how many people have done, 
how many helpers are there, how many masons are there. No, it, it is a definitely it is a uh, more laborious. Now you can execute it, but with the one best method now we can adapt for individual no projects. Individual project means construction of houses, no compound wall like your home. You can, you can, we can. I, I suggest individually. I am suggesting. So this is one best method for into private engineers, private practitioners. And negotiated contract. Already I told you that negotiated contract about this. I explained. And you know, departmental execution. Now very very small works, emergency works, departmental works. You now like you know, you now that is you know rain evokes. Then, like you know, last time we had we, we, uh, some uh, problem in Madikeri. Madikeri last time during rainy season, the sliding, you know, that earth slide, earth, you know, then we can't wait for the procedure. We can't wait for the procedure. Immediately, the government has to do that. Therefore, the government has taken care of the emergency, the, any emergency work. So the government department will like execute the works. This is not different. No, there also there are some certain problems. There also we should follow the same procedure. Inviting tender, that is no comparative statement. Everything should be followed. But some I mean emergency cases we need to do it. This is not. We need to uh, appraise it and for then follow the procedure. Okay. Then but contracts for stores and machinery. Sometimes now, in the case of machinery and stores, sealed quotations may be invited. Now, this is what I'm telling you. Now, some machines or some materials not available in the schedule of rights. Because now, nowadays, we have engineer materials. There are engineer materials manufactured. That is, engineering material means not available in the standard no, market price, is it not? So it is a rare, rarely available. It is manufactured against the order. Now, therefore, we need to calculate. We need to work out their rates. That is a new rates, new material. Now, under those circumstances, now it is let us be very careful. Being a project manager, now follow the method. Now, a contractor cannot supply the material not available in the market. Now, it is available available elsewhere. Then, how to proceed that? No, we have to. We must invite the tender protection. We have to invite the protections. Now invite the protection and go through the details of the machine or the material and find out through other people and acquire the knowledge. Then you can buy. You can place the order to buy that. Isn't it? Now the to before buying. Now the supplier. Now special material or special technology. Nobody will give it. Free of cost. Now nobody will give in advance also. They try to get money, as much money as possible. The manufacturer or the supplier, is it not? They will get the they want because there no technology is available. Nobody nothing is available that related to that particular material or that particular technology, then it is a difficult task. But if you get the technology, if you get the material, our project will go the uh, progress will boost in a faster way. And it will give more strength to our structure. Now, like you know, now therefore it is difficult, uh, difficult task. Therefore, please go through the procedure. This is the procedure should be followed. Not possible to pay the advance, but it is a difficult task to pay the advance in the government sector. In the private sector, we can do it. In the private company, we can do it. Isn't that individually we can advance it? Whereas in the government sector, we have to follow the procedure. Isn't that? Now, please note this. Now, this is the Contracts for stores and stores for those contracts for stores and machinery. Is it not? Then turnkey projects. Now turnkey projects. What is the meaning of the turnkey projects? Now turnkey projects. Now exactly the meaning of the what is the meaning of the turnkey project? The turnkey project is the project all controlled by the whole thing is controlled by a contractor turnkey turnkey means the government proposes the government proposes we want to build 
a road of 300 kilometers from one place to the other place. The government proposes. The government proposes now 300 kilometer road project report. To prepare the project report in the government procedure, it takes too long time. Isn't it? It needs more time. Now, therefore, what government proposes, government will ask a company, isn't it? Are a group of engineers, are a group of contractors, isn't it? The government proposes. Now we are constructing a four-lane road from Mangaluru to Bengaluru. It is 365 kilometer. We want a contractor on the turnkey basis. Isn't it? We want a contractor on the turnkey basis. It means the government is not doing anything. It is only proposes to do do the job. Then an individual or a partnership firm or a company they will invite the company to propose, isn't it? To prepare the detailed report, isn't it? To prepare the project report and to construct and to design. A turnkey project means a turnkey project is proposed. The government is only proposing. We want a road. We want to build a four-lane road from Bangalore to Bangalore. That is, we are proposing. The government is proposing. Now, who is going to prepare the other things? We need to go and conduct the survey from Mangalore to Bengaluru, Munurata in kilometer. And then we need to prepare the designs. We need to prepare the drawings. We need to prepare the bridges. We need to prepare the flyovers. We need to prepare the cross CD works, cross drainage works. Then you please remember how much time we want. Isn't it? Normally, they, even government will also not don't take up that because we have divisions. Isn't it? They will come across with three districts, isn't it? Four districts between Bengaluru and Mangalore, isn't it? Right? Mangaluru, Asana, then Mandya, then Bengaluru, like you know, Ramanagara is also in between some part. Now, therefore, they made div different divisions, they will execute their part. In the turnkey, in the turnkey project, in turnkey project, the whole project will be given to a consultant. The consultant will go and conduct the survey. The consultant will go and conduct the prepare the drawings. He will go and find out the that is uh, uh, ground details, side details. Like you know, they will they will prepare the entire project, isn't it? And the project will be executed by you no, know, it is the executed by the that that company, isn't it? A turnkey project. Now I want a ten-story building. The government intends to construct an hospital of 10 story building. Now, therefore, the government is proposing a 10 story building. Then they will invite the consultants or the contractors. Consultants. It is a turnkey basis, isn't it? They will conduct all the preliminary surveys. They will propose the they will cut, they will they will prepare the drawings. They will prepare the ground details, isn't it? They will collect everything. They will collect all the data and they will prepare. No, the government is only observer now. Government is only supervising whether we are getting the project. We are getting the project that is whether they are constructing the road from Mangalore to Bangalore. Is it not? The government is only looking through their engineers. Is it not? Through their engineers and no, the, the engineers will be the turnkey, they will decide. Is it not? The turnkey that is a group of like you know. That is last run to grow, like Navai Construction Company. They will take up the job and they will prepare the, the whole project, isn't it? And they will construct it, isn't it? In this turnkey projects, let us see what else we have. No, these are you no know, the explanation what I had now. I explained no turnkey projects, no design stage in the beginning and construction stage, pre-construction stage. Now we have to go for. Now there is an agreement. They must then we must have the agreement between the government and the company. The, the builder or the constructor or the agent who will take the whole project as a turnkey project. Now he will the consultant will do that. The company will do everything. Now, now during this process, there will be an agreement between the people, isn't that? The people, government, 
and the constructing agency that we will see one by one this is not we will see now this is for the see in the in, in the turnkey project there are models that is public private partnership models now we will see what are those models we have is it not now see public private partnership models now these are the in current practice we have no anybody any, any road is under construction or a railway line is under construction no bengaluru metro we have now that is it is operating now and expansion is also taking place listen no these are the models that is that is bot build operate and transfer build operate and transfer build operate and transfer listen build invest money and operate and transfer listen and you now there is a bengaluru metro is under construction it is under now operation now there is a company isn't it it is called the bengaluru Met metro rail corporation limited it is a company that company is investing money that company is constructing the metro rail the company is operating and the company is collecting the revenue and it is providing indirectly it is providing the service to the public general public is it not the the stakeholders are the people with no that is the build operate and transfer build operate and transfer no the another one is now this is there will be a lease period for this no so for some period during this period what they have to execute what they